For centuries, men have asked the same question. Should I keep the foreskin? Or lose it? The foreskin, or prepuce, is a natural fold of skin that covers the head of the penis. It protects the glands from friction, dryness, and bacteria. It keeps things moist. And it's loaded with nerve endings, making it a part of sexual pleasure for many men. So yeah, it's not just extra skin. It's part of the design. Let's talk about circumcision. For some, it's a cultural or religious choice. But for many today, it's about health. Circumcision makes hygiene easier. It lowers the chance of infections, especially in babies. It can reduce the risk of UTs in the first year. And here's where the science really kicks in. Studies show circumcision can lower the risk of HIV by up to 60% in men. It also helps prevent HPV and herpes. And it's linked to a slightly lower risk of penile cancer. That's a strong medical case. But, like any surgery, there are risks. Pain, bleeding, infection. And for some men, a change in sensitivity. The foreskin has thousands of nerve endings. Removing it will change how things feel. Some men don't notice, others do. Also, once removed, the glands becomes exposed. It can become dry and less sensitive over time. So this isn't a decision to take lightly. Sometimes, circumcision isn't a choice. Conditions like phimosis when the foreskin is too tight, or paraphimesis when it gets stuck behind the glands, can be painful and dangerous. In those cases, surgery is often the best or only option. Chronic infections that don't respond to treatment? Also a common reason for doctors to recommend it. Truth is, there's no single right answer. It depends on your body, your health, and your personal beliefs. At, if you're unsure, talk to a doctor. A urologist can give you real answers based on your body, not internet opinions. The more you know, the better your choice. If this helped you think clearly, give it a like. Hit subscribe for more science-backed health content and share this with someone who might be asking the same question. Your body, your call. Just make sure it's an informed one, Bo. And by the way, if you're dealing with performance issues, there's a short video by a top biomedical engineer showing a weird but science-backed 9-second trick that boosts blood flow. Naturally, no pills, no injections.